The Dimetrodon has spotted its next lunchtime meal. Who will get the chop? Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another showcase kind of video of Jurassic World Evolution 2, the Dominion DLC. Because there have been some animations that I didn't actually showcase. I was thinking we were going to do a whole video on just the Giga animations. And then a whole uh, video on all of the Quetzal animations and the Dimetrodon animations. And then I just ended up making a video that had all of them in. Anyway, here we are. So luckily, the rest of the community now, you guys have got your hands on this. So now some animations that I didn't know were even in the game. And some that I was like... That's pr pr preposterous are actually in the game as well. So that's why we have a parasaur out. So this, we are now going to showcase the Quetzal animations because I didn't show all of them in the video. However, I did make a short showing one of them, but there is another one I had no idea even existed. So that's good as well as I want to kind of try and see if we can get the Therizinosaurus animations working with Indominus Rex and Indoraptor. They could still be broken, but it's worth giving it a shot. So what we're going to do right here is we're going to showcase the Quetzal animations. If you want to try this at home, feel free to. However, here is a few pointers. Now, Quetzal likes to be where there's empty space. So if you're wanting to get interactions between other dinosaurs, what you want to do is just fill everything up. Like, you see all this forest? Just fill it up. For me, the signage is broken. I have one here, actually. There we go, and out it comes. This being one of the better ones. Eating people. Lovely jubbly. And then just taking off. But our lovely Quetzal has just stood on a goat. And there it goes. Yum, yum, yum. Or at least kind of holds it and then, <laughs> then swallows it whole. There's something just absolutely terrifying about something being alive and then being swallowed whole. You are alive when they start to eat you. It is one of the few, like, creatures, or you could say, like, fine reptiles in the game that has a presence. It really does look so good when it's flying around and just the sheer size of it in comparison to everything else. It's like as big as a Mosasaur, basically. One thing it absolutely loves to do is just sit in its ass and do bugger all. <laughs> okay, homalocephaly. Start of the hunt. Here it goes. Oh, oh, okay. It just kills it. No, look, it's still alive. Bless it. Okay, it kills it like a goat. That... That kind of makes sense. They're around about the same sort of size. I think even Homalocephaly can communicate with the goats. It's so sweet. And now it's dead. Now Quetzal's has got to purge and do nothing for another hour. Well, if that isn't thumbnail worthy, I don't know what is. Although it's not attacking it. It's actually just going for a drink. But that would be cool. Oh, it's happening, guys. It's freaking up the Quetzal's hunting the Parasaurolophus. It is about to defy all laws of physics. Are you ready? And it dives. Oh, look at that, bam. <laughs> and then stabs it. <laughs> okay, I thought it was actually going to pick it up and wrench its neck. But the fact that it just grabs it, pins it down, and then stabs it. That is one heavy, heavy animal. And I, I've already seen, like, comments saying that this is absolutely ridiculous. A T-Rex would struggle to take down an Edmontosaurus. So why is a Quetzal finding it so easy to just kill a parrot? <laughs> <laughs> to which I say, it's Jurassic World, isn't it? Oh, that's why, because it has stamina. Ah, I didn't realize that. Oh, okay. Still, it's stupid. <laughs> you know, from a different angle, here's uh, hunting a homalocephaly. Oh, pop! <laughs> Just gets squished, bless it. And then eaten. Although, luckily, it's definitely dead. So that's a, that's a saving grace, that it actually doesn't have to suffer anymore. Just just being crushed. Poor Homalocephaly has some of the worst animations, the most brutalist. And here's the other animation it has with Struviamimus. Dives down, picks it up, and oh, wrenches the neck before jumping. And then it just kind of like, oh, yeah, I can't swallow that hole. It's a bit too big. <laughs> and then it just kind of like picks at it from the ground. Yum, yum, yum. Yes, look at that. <laughs> so in my book, if it can kill a Struthamimus like this, it should really be able to kill a Dimetrodon, right? They're like the same size. If it can kill a Parrot, it should be able to kill a Dimetrodon. No. The weird thing is with the Quetzal, I don't understand why it has to flap so much. Surely it's more of a glider, right? Or like it could just go up high and just sort of start soaring around, but it's like... <laughs> this is so weird. Basically, I've reopened the park by placing down the command center, right? Or the control center, whatever it is. And now 
the Quetzal is for some reason deciding to just follow the path. For whatever reason, it's just deciding, right, well, I'm a dangerous guest, so I'm gonna hunt down some guests. It is the weirdest thing. It's obviously something to do with the code. Like, he never goes out this far. But for whatever reason, now that I've plugged it in, it's like, yeah, that's the way it is now. All right, here we go. Quets are taking on the Struthy. Struthy runs, tries his best, and disappears and comes back and then gets eaten. And then dropped it. Bleh. And the invisible meat strikes again. Yum, 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 yum. Para. Let's go for para. So I'm assuming because it's went for the para. The para is the last one to kind of survive. Help. That's the one it least wants to eat. So if it did have an eating animation with the Dimetrodon, it would have probably chosen it. All right, then. Let's see how the parasaur dies. Da -da 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 ah! Stop! Oh, straight in the rib cage there. Turn into literal meat. Hold on. Wait a minute. You can't tell me that the Therizinosaurus has a, an attacking animation with a freaking Parasaurolophus? No, it can't do. It must just have a roar off. You can't tell me that Therizinosaurus is going to kill a Para. That's interesting. I've never seen Para actually have a have a roar animation against something, but the Thera seems to have it with it. Wow, okay. Okay, never mind. The Therizinosaurus has a threat display apparently for everything because it just tried to intimidate Draco Rex as well. Don't like you. Ah! It'd be so cool if it just went, wow, with the Draco Rex and slapped it into space. <laughs> That'd be brilliant. Okay, we're about to see it again. The Quetz is hunting down the Para. Para runs away. Oh, and just gets slammed. Oh, that was good. That was good. Cinematography, 10 out of 10. That looked brilliant. Okay, so that appears to be, as far as I'm aware, all the animations that Quetzal has for uh, certain dinosaurs. It's not doing anything for Dimetrodon. Nothing doing for Draco Rex. There is an Asaurus. If it does have one, it's very rare that it happens. So, with that being said, there is still some dinosaurs that we haven't seen animations for. Uh, let's see what they are. And here it is, the Carnotaurus and Therizinosaurus animation. This is going to look so good. I've already kind of seen it, but I haven't seen it up close and personal like this. All right, here it is. Oh, maybe, maybe it's going to happen. I don't know. Oh, it's two slashes straight up from the Thera. Could this be the kill? I think it might be. Are we going to see it? Come on, come on, work for me, baby. Oh, ooh, Kano actually gets a hit in there. Interesting. And then they call it off. Wow. Okay, this must be it. I think this is going to be a Thera against Kano. Oh, impaled on the floor. <laughs> oh, my God. Like, straight through the neck and into the floor. It's like, I guess I died. We wouldn't be a good video if we only got to see it once. How about we release, like, a Cryolophosaurus, which is around about the same size as a Carnotaurus. And I'm expecting it probably to have the same animation. All right. Tiny Cryolophosaurus against a Therizinosaurus. Oh, my God. Oh, I, maybe if it does slash and impale it. Oh, oh okay. Straight up killed it. Fair enough. Okay, no animations for that. No way. The Iguanodon actually has a fight animation with Therizinosaurus, does it? <gasps> I was thinking maybe it might do. Oh, it does. It actually does have a fight animation with it. I was thinking they both got claws. It would be kind of stupid if they didn't actually have a fight animation. But, oh, we're getting something here. Now, if Thera wins. Oh, look at that. Oh, is this going to be it? Oh, no. There is an Azores. Why? Why are you so broken? All right, this is it. Finally, for a second time. Wah! <laughs> it's so like a strike from above. It looked so good. Like a wah! Killed! So, so, I don't think Therizinosaurus has any other animations, or at least I haven't seen any. If he does, it's glitched. If there's one animation that I completely missed, it is this one, the Dimetrodon chasing a human being. Look at him go! Here it comes! It's gonna catch him! Oh, cut the leg! Oh my god, and oh, oh, what a way to go. <laughs> that was so funny though, <laughs> the way he just chased after it. I don't know how you'd even run away from this thing if it could run at like freaking 40 miles an hour. God knows what else. The Dimetrodon has spotted its next lunchtime meal. Who will get the chop? 
It's one of them. She's lighting it up and ah, oh, goes for the leg. And then, oh, the back of the head. And it shook through. <laughs> it's a completely rag doll. Beautiful. Okay, this one's going to be a good one. They're running away, changing direction. But will it be enough to get away from Dimetron? Ah, ah, it's so happy. It just wants to play. And it's going to get your leg. <laughs> oh, knocks the other one down. Bites. And then, throw. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Okay, that's gonna have to wrap up the video, guys. But if you've enjoyed it, leave a like. Let me know if there's any other animations that I might have missed at the moment. I think that's everything. But you never can tell. So until next time, I'll see you cutie later. Oh, bye bye